channel uh, before starting this video uh, I I would like to requ request you all guys please don't go out until it's necessary and uh, please wear your mask please keep social distancing and stay safe don't let your family person go out without any reason and please uh, vaccinate it yourself so this is my humble request to my viewers and let's begin this video so today uh, in this video I am going to show you uh, how we can create a new menu for our theme so uh, first let me open my local host local sites and let me show you what does it mean by custom menu so uh, let's say you want to display a menu in in your footer but uh, your theme doesn't provide that thing so you can add that by some functions and let me show you how to do that first let me log in to admin and then I will open a function So this is the function uh, by which we can add our new custom menu. I will explain this uh, function in deep but first let me open over here the menus. So here we have two menus uh, primary menu and secondary menu. Let's say you want to add a new menu which will be displayed in the footer menu. So we will be creating a new option for the footer menu over here uh, which will display the menu over here in the footer. So uh, register new menus. So this, men, this function should be added into your theme because this is belong to your theme. So let's take an example from this page. I will provide this link in the description section. So here uh, people added primary menu and footer menu. Instead I will add okay we will need to add a footer menu so first I will open to theme this is my 2021 and functions.php so ideally we should add this into a child theme but for the sake of showing you how to do this I am adding into this uh, function uh, themes functions.php and if you don't know how to create a child theme then link is coming into the i button please go there and see how we can create child theme so now let me add this function over here so this function is added under this action after setup theme this is the word action uh, so whenever your theme is ready to execute the code then at that time this function will be called so now uh, from register now menus uh, it takes only one argument which will be an array an array of menu location like slug and descriptive tags so for this will be a slug and this will be a descriptive tag so as of now uh, we I need to add 
only one menu which will be footer menu so this is the slug and this is the text save this and let me refresh this page so oops something is wrong okay one parent sorry about that so yeah let's refresh this and as you can see now our footer menu started coming here so let's create a menu here and select this and we will add let's see we have two pages over here and i will add all the pages under this footer menu now our footer menu is created like it is registered now we need to display that menu in the footer so to display the menu we need to use this function wp now menu i will provide this link as well in the description section so now uh, we need to go into themes footer.php so i will open footer.php and uh, i will add write about the closing body tag and now we will use this function wp now menu now this function will accept some arguments so let's check all the arguments one by one first argument will be the menu slug id or slug which we defined over here so this will be id or slug we will add over here after adding this only let's see what happens so as you can see now both uh, menu is started displaying over here now let's see uh, another argument so menu class so if you want to add some custom class okay multiple custom class oh no sorry we don't need to do this so if you want to have some custom class for your menu wrapper then add this so let's see what happens okay let me add one more we should have this class in in our menu wrapper so let's refresh this inspect the element not coming let's refresh this again okay uh, okay I think we need to add this sorry my bad now let's see what happens yeah yes now the class is coming if you can see let me zoom in here is custom class theme bunty wp so so that you can add your custom 
CSS for your menu then we have menu ID so let's add menu ID footer menu ID so let's see currently ID is menu footer menu let's see what happens so as you can see ID is changed to whatever we add over here then container whether to wrap the ul and what to wrap it with by default it will be wrapped in the div so as you can see it is it is wrapped into div i guess i think they are referring this but let's let's add ul as container then let's see what happens so you can experiment by yourself by going through all your all the all the arguments oh th these are lots of arguments i'm not going to show you all the arguments but i'm going to give you an idea like how you can use these uh, arguments and based on your requirement you can do that by yourself so i have added container as ul and let's see what change let's see what it changes okay yeah as you can see now uh, it is so div is removed now it is direct ul li so yeah so yeah i hope uh, this in this video you you learned how to register a new menu and then you can display that new menu in your theme and uh, why you need to add this in your theme because this menu belongs to um, theme always and you can you can read this information so that you will have an extra knowledge i am just showing you on based on the coding purposes so please after watching this uh, go through this arguments and uh, yeah let me know if you have any doubt or question thanks for watching the video bye